Hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon again. I told you I'll be getting right back on because honestly, I don't know if y'all see me sweating. I mean, whatever is in the atmosphere, I have never, let me tell you something, I'm 50 years old. I've never been sick longer with the flu more than two or three days ever. So I knew something was going on. This is three weeks. I mean, not sleeping at night. It's been a trip. But anyway, the title of this one is, Thus Said the Lord, Christians, that means everybody, me too, hallelujah, learn to have the ways of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What am I saying? Oh, y'all not going to like this video. I'm telling you, not going to like it. And I got to hit and move because I'm still going through it. Excuse me. Y'all got some big mouths. We have lost the, the way of Christ. Listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. And I used to have a big mouth too, so I know what I'm talking about. You can have God so much, but you don't know how to treat your fellow person, your fellow brother, your fellow sister. God said we're talking too crazy to each other. You know, you don't have to always tell somebody a piece of your mind because if it's a piece of your mind, then it ain't the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Out of you. Start being kind to one another. Start being loving to one another. And you can still tell somebody the truth without cussing them out, telling them off, getting on Facebook. Y'all better calm it down. Y'all wonder why the world acting a fool out there because the church is acting a fool. Come on, somebody. You still got to have respect for that person that you don't even like. We have gotten to the point where the church have more money, more everything, but yet have lost the kindness, the love, the agape love, the respect for each other. Always compete and always think somebody, hey, nobody hating on you. Sometimes some of that stuff real. Some of that stuff true. Just have the ugly attitude. Stop that, God says. Stop that. Then Y'all wonder why people don't want to be a Christian. I bet yet they want to call themselves saints. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because they're not seeing the love of Christ inside of you. They're not seeing it exemplified. Come on, somebody, through your spirit. How you going to say you love God, but yet you don't know how to talk to your brother and your sister in Christ? Ain't nobody no child. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Some of you are just, you better get it together. I don't care how anointed you are. You got to learn how to talk to people. You got to learn how to be nice to people. And I know what I'm talking about because I have, I have a couple of friends that act like that. And, and I'm, I'm looking... And y'all know me. Y'all should know me. <laughs> I ain't been feeling good. So I've been letting it get by. But you and I both know when I get 100% and God give me that thumbs up, I'm going to tell them, look, you know what? You have a nasty attitude. You get on my nerve, but I still love you. Oh, <laughs> what's the truth? Always saying something slick. Stop that. Always being ugly. Stop that. If you're not happy, you go to God. If you're not saved, go to God. If you're not anointed, go to God. Be, quit being jealous. Quit being ugly. God don't like this. Because you see, your house is divided. It's time for us to be together for real unity. Unity brings love. Unity brings power. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. There's no unity in the church. Ain't nobody hating on you. It's, it's always all about the money now. Or the fame. Or, or, or the platform. Or whatever you think it's about. Because to be honest with you, oh, I'm about to hit y'all in the head with this one. I have changed my ministry name. And when I get the packet, I'm an LLC now. It no longer has my name. <laughs> that's right there is no longer apostle deanna Dixon ministries that's right because guess what god told me he said you build it up on another man's ministry so guess what i go ahead and tell y'all it's going to be called disciples of jesus christ of nazareth i have moved my name from ah oh, y'all ain't ready for me i can't wait till i get better so i can really really tell y'all how it is hallelujah the church have done too much we've done too much we went too far. Hallelujah, we went too far. God says we're supposed to draw people, but to him, not to us. Not to us. And, and, and one thing about this, this ministry, I keep it 100. Even if I'm wrong, I keep it 100. I, I'm going to tell you, you know what? Hey, God told me this. This is the way it is. And that is it in the story. But I no longer have Apostle Deanna Dixon Ministries. Point blank in the story. That's right. I'm a servant of the Lord. Now, I'm still an apostle, but I'm still a servant. Just a servant. That's right. Hallelujah. God said, I want you to, to be the leader of this, of this movement, which is we're supposed to draw people to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. His name must reign throughout the city. His name must reign throughout the nation. His name must be famous again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because he's the one. Just the name of Jesus alone could kill you. Just the name of Jesus alone could heal you. Just the name of Jesus alone. Hallelujah to his name. Bring back his name, God says. Hallelujah. Not our name. We're not that great. Oh, no, we're not. Sorry. So, just thought I'd let you know. Bring back the love, people. Bring back the love. You, you know how you say you love Jesus Christ? Love your brother. You know how you say like, you love Jesus Christ? Love your sister. Quit acting silly. And when you, when you make a mistake, say, I'm sorry. Some of you don't even want to say, I'm sorry. You know when you're wrong. Nobody got to tell you when you're wrong. You know when you're wrong. 
Because the Holy Spirit going to tell you. Let me be honest with you. When a person comes to you, you've been you already been disobedient. But the Holy Spirit always lets you know, you're wrong. That's not right. Don't do it like this. But some ain't no sometimes we override it. I'm going to do what I want to do. The spirit of the world then came into the church, and that's why the church ain't got no anointing. Oh, but God said he raising up some people that's going to do it just the way he said to do it, how he said to do it, when he said to do it, and he don't have to tell us why. Hallelujah. Ooh, so God bless you. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I kind of feel like something. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it honest with you. Not just the flu. My sister, Prophet Latronica Dixon Lewis, was praying for me. Mighty woman of God. And I'm not just saying that because she's my sister. That girl. Because trust me, I tested even her. I don't play. What? You can't just tell me nothing. I don't care who you are. That woman got it. And she was praying. And she started literally choking. I said, what's wrong with you? She said, Deanna, something, something was sent to you. So it ain't just, just cold. I know something was sent to me. Because they're always trying to stop me. Block me. They didn't like the last video at all. They don't like me talking about the New World Order. They don't like me talking about it. You know. Y'all know what time it is. But ain't nothing going to stop me but death. That's right. So... Um, I pray that you understand because I just don't get on here just to talk, <laughs> be seen or whatever the case may be. just want to tell you the truth, the truth with love, right? Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.